If after applying your foundation, concealer, and powder leaves you feeling a little flat, a little one-dimensional, I have some answers for you. I'm Nick Lujan, the Director of Artistry and Education for Kevin O'Quan Beauty, and today I want to talk about sculpting. Our brand founder, Kevin O'Quan, was known for his techniques and methods for using light and shadow to create and add dimension to the features. And today we're going to be talking about his iconic product, the Sculpting Powder. Our original sculpting powder comes in three beautiful matte shades. In Kevin's book, Making Faces, he talks about using a matte texture of sculpting powder in order to push features back and absorb light. With these three shades, he's really mimicked the shades of the natural shadows found on the bone structure. So when you look into the mirror, as I'm looking into this camera, you can see these shadows around my nose and around the eyes. You want to pick a shade of sculpting powder that mimics that natural shade found already on your features. Today, I'm going to select my shade of sculpting powder based on the shadows seen on my face, as I already mentioned. We've got light, medium, and deep shades to choose from, but looking at these natural shadows right here, I find that the medium is the closest color to helping me add dimension to my features. If you do not see a shade of sculpting powder that matches you perfectly, you can always switch over to using a sensual skin enhancer or a deeper foundation that does match closely to those natural shades of sculpting found on your features. Applying your sculpting powder is really easy. I suggest using a brush that you also used for your loose powder earlier. That little bit of residual loose powder in the brush is going to give you the most beautiful and most smooth blend of any of your powder products. Start by loading your brush by dipping it into your sculpting powder. And as you can see, there's a lot of product on the tip of this brush. Rather than tapping the brush like this, which really doesn't do much, you're gonna work that color into the bristles on the back of your hand or using a makeup artist palette. Really get it into those bristles. That's the key to getting that beautiful blend. Next, apply your powder or your sculpting powder in those areas where you want the deepest amount of shadow. For me, that's on the corner of my large forehead right back here. I apply there first with my brush and then gently sweep and buff that product inward to kind of slim the shape of the forehead and create a natural looking subtle shadow. You can do the same steps to anywhere else that you want to create that dimension. So under the cheekbone, start with your brush where you want it the strongest and then blend it out from there. I love this on the tip of my nose and this product also makes an excellent eyeshadow. I want to leave you with a few of my favorite Power Partner products to really enhance your sculpting application. The first one is our Neo Highlighter. This is a three-in-one highlighter. It's got a light, a medium, and a deep shade to choose from. You can swipe your brush across all three shades to custom blend your own highlight, or you can select one shade at a time by swiping across this direction with your brush. Applying a powder highlight to the high planes of the face, like the cheekbone, the brow bone, maybe the bridge of the nose, is going to reflect light and actually bring those features forward, giving more dimension to the look. The next product I want to share is the Neo Blusher in the shade Sunset. It's the perfect peachy warm shade for all skin tones. Don't let the color intimidate you. If you're concerned about too much product, just use less in your brush and be sure that you're always loading your powder products deep into the bristles just like I showed you with the sculpting powder. Also, if that's not enough and you want to bring extra glow to the complexion, you can always partner any sculpted look with emphasizing the highlight using glass glow face. Take a little bit of glass glow face gel highlighter and just dab it into the skin on those high points of the face for the ultimate in dimension. We can't wait to see how you're using your sculpting powders and creating dimension to your features. So make sure that you tag us at Kevin O'Quan and hashtag Team Kevin so that we can follow along in your makeup journey.